All right, here we are, 92 GSX 1100G. Uh, it has the carb issue, so we're working on removing the carbs. Uh, first thing I did was remove the seat, remove the tank, uh, drain the fuel out of the tank by disconnecting the hose, the inlet into the fuel pump. Uh, let's see, after I removed the tank, a lot of hoses, electrical connections to it, vents and whatnot, uh, then I removed the... Um, this, uh, this thing that goes over the battery, okay? Then I remove the battery, uh, disconnect everything from the battery tray, remove the battery tray, remove the air filter. Uh, inside, inside the air box, you can see there, um, that's where these rubber boots sit. And all you do is you just reach your hand in there, grab the boot, and you peel it out. Uh, after you peel it out, and you've loosened all the um, connections to the intake you can just go ahead and rock the carburetor right on out of there uh, then you remove the um, the throttle cables uh, fuel cable uh, fuel line rather um, and the choke cable and uh, any sort of other hoses going to it like drains um, you can see these carburetors have what I'm told is a common problem you can see there's a lot of uh, well these there's like all sorts of chipping shit on this but you could see, let me see if I can open this up. There's a lot of play. It's hard to show, but there's a lot of like slack. Um, the, the slides flap back and forth, I guess allowing air to leak through. I don't know if you could, I don't know if you could see that. A lot of up and down movement. So I have a new set here that was uh, built by someone, someone on um, the GSX 1100G forum. I'm new to these bikes. I just I just picked this up for a grand, and uh, I really like the way they ride. So anyway, I don't know if you could see in there, but there's these little plastic slides there, and uh, that that eliminates the slack. Um, so hopefully these carburetors will work. Uh, we will see. Um, I really do like that bike, so these will be on and we'll fire it up and see how it goes.